Welcome back, y'all. Appreciate everybody tuning back in, um, checking out my videos from the last two I put up. I know we're just getting this thing started, and I've had quite a bit of really good feedback, and I appreciate all of it so much. This week, we're going to do the reel rundown. This is the only three reels that I have in my boat. Matter of fact, it's the only three reels that I have used for probably the last four to five years. Um, these are my go-tos, and like I said, it's the only ones in the boat. So let's get to it. The first one is the Pfluger 20 Series Presidente, or President. Pre it's the Pfluger President. I throwed some of that old Hispanola on it, but it's just a Pfluger President. Right here, like I said, it's the 20 series. This is all. This is the same size as a 1000 series reel. It's small, compact, lightweight. It weighs 6.2 ounces. It's a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio, which is absolutely mwah, perfect. This is the reel that's on every one of my jig poles, hand poles, whatever you want to call it. All of my dropping down on a pole, this is it. And I've also got it on probably 30 or 40% of my casting and pitching reels. This reel right here is a very good reel. If you're starting out and want to figure out the game, don't want to drop a lot of money on it, grab you a couple of these right here. You can get them at Cabela's, Bass Pro, Tackle Warehouse, around 50 bucks, somewhere around there. Matter of fact, back when we was pushing, trolling, spider rigging, whatever you want to call it, when I was running eight poles out the front, I had these on every single pole that I had. And the reason I did is because they're so durable. And for 50 bucks, they're, they're, if, if you mess one up, it's not the end of the world, which I, I didn't want to because it's still 50 bucks. But they last a long time. I've got some on my trolling poles I've had on there for five or six years, and I'd stick them in the water. I mean, I was pretty brutal on them. They got a really smooth drag system on them. I mean, for $50, that's the smoothest drag that I've ever seen on a reel. They're buttery smooth, too. These son of a guns, it's, you can't go wrong with them. I put them, like I said, on every one of my on every one of my jigging poles. This is what I use right here. They are they weigh just enough to where you put it on that X13. You got them counterbalance weights at the back. You can hold it just like this right here. It's like a chicken's feather. They're really good reels. And like I said, Bass Pro Tackle Warehouse, 6.2 ounces, 5.2 to one. You can get them for around 50 bucks. That's the Fluger President 20 series. All right, let's get to Daddy's baby. Here's Daddy's baby right here. This is the Daiwa Ballistic 1000 series right here. This is my money. This is the juice. This is what I've got. I've got on four or five, all of my tournament rods, it's got a ballistic on it. This is, it's a five two to one ratio. They're a little bit more expensive. These are, these are a little more high end. They're about 230, $240. Tackle Warehouse. Sometimes you can get them on sale. Um, this, like I said, is a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. This one's only 5.8 ounces. It's a little bit lighter than that Pluger. Very, very smooth drag system. Very. The reel, it's like reeling just, it's like swimming in straight butter and trying to reel at the same time. It's just buttery goodness. Soft, silky, smooth. Kind of like that old lotion and women folk put on their hands. This is how smooth this reel is. You cannot go wrong with this right here. I know it's a higher end reel, but it is very well worth it. Especially, and I, let me tell you about what smooth reeling does. If you've got an old reel that's been thrown around or maybe a cheaper one or it's got some wear on it, she'll start grinding and kind of feel rough like old dead gum rear end out of a 4020. You know how they get to grinding old tracker and they just, you can't feel real good on them. A smoother reel will actually get you more bites. We fished Lake Hamilton last year and probably half of the fish that we weighed in was because we felt them through the reel and nothing else. Like we would be pitching and casting to them and you wouldn't even feel the fish bite the rod. As sensitive as these bad boys here are, you still wouldn't even feel it. You would feel it through the reel though, in the reel handle. There was no mistakes in the reel handle, no bad hard spots, just a steady, smooth reel retrieve. And you'll feel that reel start loading up and the fish will have it and you just you lay into him. That's when you bring him on, put him in the box. The reel will actually show you a lot more bites. And I'll tell you the reason I like a 5-2 to 1 gear ratio. It's because when them fish are really finicky, you can get that bait to stop right over the top of them. I ain't going to say just stop dead still, but you can slow it way down with a 5-2 to 1 gear ratio versus if you had like a, say, a 6-2 to 1, 6-1 to 1, whatever they are, the 7-1 uh, to 1s. 
the higher gear ratio, it's harder to stop because the, the very slight amount you move the reel, it's going to bring in more line. Every time that you turn this, like a 5 two to 1 gear ratio, the way that they get the numbers is, for every one turn of the reel, this spool is going around five times. Okay, a 6 one to 1, every one turn of the reel handle, the spool is going around six times. So the higher the number, the faster the reel is. It's going to take up more line quicker. That's okay if the fish are really active, that's fine. I've got one six one to one or whatever gear ratio in here, but all of my reels are the five series. Just because you can stop it for them finicky fish, you can stop it pretty daggum slow. You can get a 16th or a 30 second ounce jig head to just about stop on a dime and get them finicky bites instead of them having to chase it and stuff, especially this time of year. They're, they're slower, lethargic. That's what you want, something to slow everything down. That's where this bad boy comes in. This is the juice. Like I said, they're a little bit more expensive. They're $239, $240. But hey, the way I get a couple of them, I get them for Christmas time. I put Santa Claus on them. I mean, tell your wife, tell your girlfriend, tell your kids, whoever you got to. Tell them, say, look, honey, just put a little Christmas on it. You got Columbus Day. You can put some Martin Luther King Day on it. You can put President's Day and Father's Day. Put everything. Just tell them, this is what I want. Just put it all together. Pile it up. Go ahead and get you one of these. Really and truly, you need two of them. But you can start out with one. Like I said, I'm not sponsored at all by them. I buy these song guns just like everybody else, but they're that worth it. Get you a Christmas card. Whatever you little gift card stuff you get, that's where I got one of mine. Old brother and sister-in-law, what do you need for Christmas? I need me some money so they didn't get him a reel. So uh, these are the juice. This is it. This is, I've tried them all. The Ballistic, the 1000 series, I believe it's LT. Yep, LT 1000 by Dial. And it is the, I got her spooled up there with that old cigar braid. We'll get to that later. That's probably coming next week. But uh, this is the bomb. Get it, Dial Ballistic. All right, the next one, this one here, this is one that I just got. I'm going to try this out. This is a Shimano Vanford. I really like this reel. I had not even put this reel in the water yet. You can see right there, Vanford. I have not put this reel in the water yet. Um, I'm hoping to try it out here in a day or two. This reel is about 10 bucks cheaper than a ballistic. It's actually 5.3 ounces versus the ballistics 5.8 ounces. It's a skosh a bit lighter than the ballistic is, and it's a 5 1 to 1. It's not a big difference in the gear ratio, but it's a slight difference. It's a tad bit slower. I like it. It's got a uh, very, very smooth reel. It's got very smooth drag, just like all your high end reels are going to have really good drag. I hadn't seen one. The one thing I do like about this, it don't have that dead gum anti-reverse switch on there. There's no anti-reverse switch at all. And if there's one thing I hate, is when you cast out there and you've set the hook on one and you've inadvertently flipped that little switch and your dead gum reel handle going backwards and your fish is running the other way, then daddy has a come apart. You can ask Jay Bird, I will just lose it. This reel right here don't have that. Don't have no anti-reverse. You always going in forward. You ain't never backing up. That's why you're looking forward. Don't look back because this reel won't do it. It ain't going to look back. This is the Shimano Vanford, Tackle Warehouse, Bass Pro, Cabela's, all them spots has got it. This is a 1000 series, about $230, somewhere around in that area. This reel is 5.3 ounces, 5 1 to 1. I'm going to give her a try. I believe I'm going to like it pretty good. We're going to find out. I'll give you an update next week. We're probably going to do line. I'll give you an update about how well I like this reel. Um, as of right now, the ballistic is what I run on all of my tournament casting pitching rods. This is the one. If I had to hand pick, hey, which one out of all of yours is the favorite? This is my favorite. This is my baby. The ballistic by Daiwa. Check them out. And if you don't, if you don't want to really spend that much right this second, you cannot go wrong with the old Fluger President. That's my real rundown right there, folks. That's what I use. That's the only reels in my boat. That's all I've got. I've got some real covers that I got from Tackle Warehouse. I keep them in. I'll show you. Hold on. Oh, stay still. Right there. I've got these little real covers. They just open up, stick the reel down in them, just like that right there. And then you close this back over them, and it keeps your reel. I just keep them on it when I'm traveling. They're all in the box. Keep them from beating and banging into each other on my, 
on my reels, get a little bit more real life out of them. But uh, anyway, I sure do appreciate y'all checking out this and I'm gonna call this the real rundown. This is the juice, this is the best reels that I've come across. If y'all found some that y'all like a lot, hey, let me know in the comments because there's a lot of stuff out there in which I am a tackle junkie. There's a lot of stuff out there I may not know about. Let me in on the goods. I'm gonna let y'all in on the goods, so let me in on the goods. If there's something I'm missing, I'm gonna need to know. Um, I appreciate the, the subscriptions. Holler at me in my comments. If there's a question, anything you got a question about, let me know. I'll answer it some way. Next week, I'm going to do one about line. Mono, braid, floor, carbon. Might even get into a few knots. More than likely, we will. Y'all just stay tuned. We appreciate all the likes and subscribes. Hit that little ding a -ling up there in the corner, that little bell, wherever it's at. It's somewhere around here. I'll put it on there. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of them. We got them every one of them. We going all out. Uh, next week, tune in. We're going to do lives. And, or line. We're not going to do Yeah, we're going to do lives. I guess I'm live doing line. We're going to do mono, braid, floral, all the good stuff, the juice to run down on the line. Appreciate y'all. Give us a like. Subscribe. Talk to us in the comments. Holler at us next week. I appreciate y'all.